You know what? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. I'm not finally leaving! The show goes on! Ah, uh, the pencil on Wall Street is probably right. That weapon is not leaving. What's up everyone, my name is Gus and welcome to my channel for another episode of What's the Problem? In this series, I as your favorite Squid Research Lab sociologist study a new phenomenon or rather, an old phenomenon happening in the Splint 2 community for a while now. For a couple of months, we've been in a meta called the Cooler Meta, or rather the Pencil Meta, and we finally got a patch for Splatoon 3 that attempts to address some of the problems with this meta with version 7.2. Will you continue to be randomly clipped by Trizuka? Will Penso continue to have a positive KA with no deaths and multiple tactic coolers? Or will Range Blaster's dominance as the number one Wavebreaker user finally end? Wait, why did that last nerf happen? Well, continuing with our scheduled program, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Let me know your thoughts on the recent update and your thoughts on this meta. With that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Tacticooler and Trizuka have remained incredibly popular over the last six months of Splatoon 3, and the latest patch made four nerfs with three very apparent ones attacking Trizuka and Tacticooler, and one just easing the mind of casual players on tower control. As always, to explore this issue of the Splatoon 3 meta, I made a poll to get an idea of what the larger part of the community thinks. I asked of the following nerfs in version 7.2, which one do you think will be the most impactful in this current meta? People had four options to choose from the change to shot squeezer range or pencil it's no surprise that people are either voting for the zuka weapons or for the pencil what i find most interesting about these results is how even it is between splatter shot squeezer and pencil well, and range is just there for show right but it just goes to show that even though all of them received an additional 10 points for special the proportionate impact on each main weapon might be different for different players does a 2 times splatter shot experience the same impact to its special output or other aspects of the main weapon in the same way as a 210 pencil and is a 10 points for special increase enough to sway players away from using splatter shot or pencil it seems like a step in the right direction but before we even talk about what I mean by proportionate impact or digging deeper into these changes, let me briefly go over with the issues that people have been talking about with Trizuka, Cooler, Pencil, and so on and so on. Because if you've been on hiatus from Splatoon, you're probably saying, why is Pencil a problem? It doesn't even one shot. Or I thought we'd solve the whole Trizuka dilemma, just dodge or hide behind cover. So let's talk about it. Trizuka is your basic lottery special in the game. Due to its huge hitbox, considerable damage potential, insane range, and frames to activate and fire your shot, this special can change the pace of the game at any given moment. You can be playing perfectly well coordinated with your team and then a random shot across the map comes hurling at you and you're dead. And the weapon that has continuously abused this special is Splattershot. Splattershot is your all around weapon. Good kill time, good movement, and more particularly, it paints the best out of any current Trizuka weapon. So because it's able to paint well, farm, and special spam Trizuka consistently, it makes it really unfun for a lot of players to fight against. Because if there's anything about Splattershot is that the playstyle can devolve quite quickly to special spam if you don't keep its points for special in check. So as a way to deal with Trizuka, players ran Tacticooler. Because the special grants you various abilities with the key important ones being quick respawn and special saver. Let's say you get hit by that random Trizuka shot. You'll respawn faster and you'll retain 100% of your special meter. It basically serves as a mitigator, not necessarily a true counter, because it lessens the impact of Trizuka, which is intent on killing you. So if there are a bunch of Zookas in your lobby, you're gonna need a lot of coolers, right? And there is one weapon that does this incredibly well and much more, and that's Pencil. Pencil paints incredibly well, so its cooler output is gonna be really important in mitigating the impacts from Trizuka. But the benefit of having Pencil is that what you get alongside its special output is its considerable range, its combo potential, and its ability to cover the support and anchor role, freeing up your team composition to be built with front lines and mid lines, which results in other support and backline weapons not getting much of an opportunity to see use in this meta. 
Basically, this weapon's top priority is not to get kills. It just needs to enable the three frontline weapons that will fight for it. You paint, provide cover, get jumps, get your special, and you rinse and repeat. You basically have this nagging pain that you can't reach. So what's your best solution in taking out Pencil? Oh yeah, it's Trizuka. This is all to say that each of them lead to one another. You can't talk about the issues with Pencil and Tacticooler without talking about the issues with Trizuka. So this begs the question, did the changes address the problems associated with Cooler Meta and these weapons? Of the four nerfs, let me quickly talk about the two nerfs that don't contribute so much to changing the cooler meta. Let's start off with range because that's the easy one. This weapon has no relationship to the cooler meta debate. It's a pretty good pick in competitive Splatoon, but I think the devs just saw how dominant this weapon was in tower control in X rank because range blaster was the number one pick in chill season 2023 for both divisions. So a nerf was their way of toning it down. As for squeezer, I can see the argument that this weapon does play a role in cooler meta, but given that this weapon does not see much use, at least in comparison to the other three weapons in solo and competitive play, I'm gonna say it doesn't really play a big role. The thing with this weapon is that it doesn't really have any major flaws outside of it being hard to play in general. Once you master how to play it, you can basically be an immovable object in the game so having a Zook in hand makes it harder for people to approach you, and that's already on top of the main weapon being really hard to approach as well. But I don't think Zuko was something that this weapon abused, it was just an additional nuisance. I do think this weapon was probably hurt the most by the nerf in general overall, because it was the only one that got to 220p, and trust me, I know how it feels to have a 220p special, it just sucks. The two main culprits when it comes to abusing the strengths of Trizuka and Tacticooler are Shot and Pencil. So this is where we need to focus our attention to see if the meta will change. Each of them ended up with a 210 special, but the proportional impact is different. What I mean by this is that even though they both have 210 now, the magnitude of how this will affect Shot's Zuka output will be worse compared to Pencil's Cooler's output. These nerfs, although the same in number, will not be the same in battle. For example, some people said just run special charge up to solve this 210 problem for both weapons, but it's not the same. And I think Pika said it best. People voting for Pencil are not aware of its pain output and gear freedom. Even Shot can wear special charge up, but it needs to go aggro a lot to have value in the composition when playing at least at a high level. And this was something I was having a conversation with Ren, the coach from Jackpot, the 2024 Splatoon 3 World Champions about. He also thought that running more special charge up isn't as big as a deal on pencil as it is on a shot, which is why he likes the change. Tweaking the opportunity cost of running more special charge up versus running a different Zuka weapon or a faster comp entirely that isn't affected by Zuka is something that he was really interested in. But he did note that he doesn't think this is enough, but it's a wise change. What Ren and Pika are pointing out is that if you want consistent Zuka output, you either make a build with special charge, reducing other essential abilities that help Splattershot perform as a main weapon and fulfill their role as a slayer, or you could run a different Zuka weapon, which will likely have less special output or require a different team composition to support that weapon, and it could incentivize people to experiment with weapons outside of Splattershot in the Zuka family. This is all to say that these nerfs are not equal to each other. The impact that 210 has on shot will affect how it plays as a slayer while balancing Zuka output, whereas for Pencil, it can still sit back, do its job, because it doesn't have a lot of ability constraints, just slap on some special charge, sit back, avoid getting killed, and keep the drinks coming. I think what the patch does is minimal at best, but it does not attack the root of the problem. My two biggest issues with the nerf is that first, adding an additional 10 points for special to an overtuned weapon or special does not discourage the player base from using that weapon. Machine got nerfed four times before they decided to drop the hammer with a big frame reduction nerf, which ultimately killed that weapon as a meta-defining weapon at the time. It just sucks that we now have to wait another couple of months before another potential change could occur. And that is a big issue with Splatoon 3's update cycle. Compared to previous games, the game was updated frequently, which had its ups and downs to be fair, but I feel like it was still better than Splatoon 3's cycle. But we can save that topic for another day. 
My second biggest issue is something Rent also mentioned, which I think is really important. He said, the problem with Penso is that one of the biggest issues with this game is the constant lack of strong displacement options like Zuka. Name me another special that is consistent in taking out Pencil from across the map. You probably thought Booyah Bomb and Tri Strikes, but do they have the same speed and killing potential as Trizuka? Maybe Inkjet, but Pencil has a favorable matchup against that special. Ren also followed up by saying, the thing is they need to give us something new to actually to pivot to. And I think they want that to be Bubbler, which is a huge red flag, but that's an aside. To make a comparison to a prior meta, Crab Tank meta lasted for quite a while until Nintendo gave us a couple of nerfs to the main weapons that were dominating at the time, but more importantly, they improved Trizuka, Inkjet, Ultra Stamp to compete against Crab Tank. And I think this is what Ren is trying to get at, that they just need to give us something new to pivot to. I don't think Shot as a main weapon is as problematic as Pencil, which is why I left it out of this cycle. And I think Tactic Cooler is the only reason this game feels playable. So if Nintendo wants this meta to change, they need to drop the hammer on Pencil and Trizuka. You could give Pencil a similar nerf to what Machine experienced, or you could give us the tools to combat Trizuka, or you could nerf Trizuka itself. I don't know how you go about this to be honest with you. Because any single change could have intended or unintended consequences. And I also want to make it very clear that I like this meta. I mean two of my favorite weapons have Cooler and Trizuka. But I understand why people want to change. Because what did you say the pencil on Wall Street? I'm not leaving! Oh yeah, I guess this is just how it is.